Hi, my name is Galina Nikina, and I help people create harmony with themselves and their relationships and help people create their goals with ease and flow. And today I'm going to talk about the dark side of stress. What are all the negative effects of stress that has on our lives? So first of all, stress affects our mental state. When we are in the state of stress, we cannot focus, we cannot solve problems, um, we become overly analytical, uh, we sit at the laptop at work for an hour with two words coming out of us when we need to write something creative. Uh, our stress shuts off our creative abilities and our access to our intuition because that's not the time for it. And also when we are in stress, we become more easily triggerable and we become more reactive. So that then affects our relationships. So the big effect of stress on the relationships is when we are in stress, A, uh, we sometimes carry stress over from work and dump it on our loved ones at home. Then also we have the conversations that very soon become not very logical. Because when we are in stress, our logical facilities in our brain go offline. How many of you have gone through an experience or observed somebody fighting and they're not even logical in their fights anymore because it's not about that. They are in the state of survival. So stress hurts our relationships, either because we bring the stress over from other times to the relationship or we have the conversation that then have a negative effect on our relationship because we say something we shouldn't have said. Also, stress very much affects our physical health. Uh, many, many, many medical research shows that many uh, physical conditions are caused by the state of stress. Stomach problems, heart problems, all sorts of things happen because of chronic stress. Um, and if we can't manage that state, we can get worse and worse and worse. But if we can manage it, we can get better. Not a health plan. Uh, so what else does stress do? Stress does not allow ourselves to enjoy the moment. How often have you seen people who like, it's literally, they have everything. They have the house, they have the car, they have a family, and they're still unhappy. Like you can have all the beautiful circumstances and still feel stressed inside. That's the shitty part of it. Like it's not uh, so much dependent of what, on what we can achieve. We can achieve everything and still feel the state of stress. And then what are we trying to achieve that all for? We all trying to achieve something because we want to reach a certain feeling. We want to feel the feeling of joy. We want to feel the feeling of worthiness. We want to feel the feeling of love of life and feeling good enough maybe to prove that we're a success to our parents. But when we're in stress, we have no access to that feeling. Uh, another thing of uh, the side of stress is that we very often allow our external environment to define our internal state. So when something bad happens, we feel stress. When something good happens, stress goes away. So then your state is very much dependent on the outside, which is not a stable feeling. Because, you know, next day somebody gets laid off and they're super stressed. It can happen. Very real these days. But when those things happen, you don't have to be stressed. You still have a choice. What are other things of stress? Um, so stress can cost you time. Because when we're in stress, we're spinning our wheels, we're not productive, and we can spend the whole day doing, trying to do something but not really producing anything. Stress can cost you money. Because when we're in stress, we can make bad decisions. And when we make bad decisions, sometimes we can invest in the wrong thing. We can get into the business deal we shouldn't have gotten into. We can be gone home about a certain marketing strategy that we should have given up a long time ago just because we just want to like, keep going, keep going. So it can cost you money. I don't say, well, but it can. And it can cost you your relationships. And it can cost you your inner peace and your inner state of joy. Uh, because when you are in the state of stress more and more, you're actually training your body to be used to those emotions of stress. And then even when circumstances even out, your body will still crave those emotions. The emotional addictions uh, to the emotions of stress are real, is a real thing. And uh, even when you take care of your life, you'll still come up with situations and come up with reasons to feel the way that you would feel if you were stressed, if you got used to that feeling. So that can kind of spoil the experience of life. Um, what else? What else? I think I covered everything. It can cost you money. It can cost you time. It can cost you relationships. It can cost you your inner peace and it can cost you the joy of life. 
So those are pretty high prices to pay, don't you think? So with that, uh, I recommend that you can do something about it. And there are many, many different ways that you can deal with stress. Meditation is one of them. Working on yourself to really decouple those thoughts and feelings from what is actually happening so you can create a different response to your circumstances is another thing. Uh, have practices in your life that bring you joy. Have things in your life that bring you to balance. For somebody is dancing. For somebody is fishing. For somebody is uh, painting. Like anything that's creative, anything that brings you joy, counterbalances stress. Also, stress drain your energy battery. Ooh, forgot about that one. With the stress, like you feel sometimes like you have no energy. You can't get out of bed. You feel lazy. You just want to one click, click, click on the TV. Those are all side effects of stress. So if you counterbalance your life with things that give you energy, and those are the things that you love doing, uh, then you can balance out the state of stress. So focus on recharging your battery. Focus on uh, managing stress in the moment and focusing on weeding out the reasons for the chronic stress so you can work on it in a holistic way. And you can start retraining your brain and body to the state of coherence. Another video on that one. Um, that will allow you to counterbalance all those negative sides, the dark side of stress. So, if you like this video, please click like underneath it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more of the videos like that. And share with your friends if you think somebody needs to hear this message today.